guaranteed counter pick, so they could have waited until it was locked in and ensured that they could get that. And Korn's Fizz is one of the most banned champions against Korn. Well, let's see. But if your wishes come true here in game five, Kobe. As Peter said, like, he's in such a defensive mindset, and it has showed that this is not working out for them. This defensive, scared mindset. Maybe it's nerves, maybe it is that stage. Game five, it's only gonna get worse for him. Yeah. It's only, there's only more pressure. It is as well, all or nothing at this point. You can almost forget those last games coming into this one, treat it as a best of one, and do your thing. They banned Ooh, Twisted Fate. So one way, well, counter pick, another way, ban that Twisted Fate out and stop Cool getting his hands on it. That's what us old guys did back in 2010 when we <laughs> encountered Twisted Fate and didn't know what to do against it. Right. Once again, though, uh, focus on Insect here. Rise is available. Will OMG ban it? Will they let Cola? Cola kit. Not that great on it, honestly. So uh, there we go. Okay, this has left the option and they can't, they can't let go go and have Rise. Cola's locked it in. What will OMG do to respond? They've got the choice of really anything here. The Janna's on the table. Lucian, of course, for San. Big, important champion for him. What will they focus? I see... I, as well, don't forget. I could very well see a Janna Lucian focus. Interesting that they're going to stick with their jungle, though, with banning out two jungles and first picking another one, as they've done, targeting Insect over and over again. They want him to be uncomfortable, and they want to try and take advantage of his forward pushing plays. I was gonna say- They can't decide, they want both. If you're gonna ban out Twitch, surely you've gotta take that Lucian in the first pick because Uzi's gonna be just as comfortable on that one. They decide to switch huh. back though and take Janna here along with Kha'Zix on their first round, which means that Kohler gonna have his hand on Rise, which he's five and one with so far in the World Championship. Ooh. Oh, or Korn, it is or a- Or Yeah, it is a yeah. flex pick for them. Interesting decide to go with it, though. Yeah, you're showing your hand very early there. And it will, of course, mean that that is Rise in the mid lane, Maokai in the top, and, of course, Uzi gets his hands on Lucian, which forces a potential Corky to come out for San. Now, does Go Going really want to go with a Rumble again towards the top lane into this Maokai? Well, we're going to find out. And that is the first one that's hovered yeah. and locked that was in quick. from the second <laughs> round of picks. Now. Obviously listening there, Kobe, and uh, saying, yes, Kobe, that's, that's exactly what we're going to do. Rumble locked in for Go Going in game five. We looked at him at the start of this one and said, this is the man for OMG that could carry them to a world championship final. And he's going to be running Rumble here as Corky is also locked in for San. No real yeah. surprise oh, on that yeah. front. But no. what do Royal Club now go with to They're finish off nine. this lineup? It's not wow. Belkos. Belkos support, I don't think so. Thresh is there. <laughs> well, so, yeah. Thresh. Will the jungle be insect on Fiddlestick? According, according to Krepo, the fans have already won. The fans won this game. The Both Thresh, Janna yeah. and Thresh have been locked in. OMG, once again, mid-game focus. They've got the Rumble. They've got the Corky. We've seen this play out so many times trying to force those dragon fights and take advantage He's of thinking, it. it don't, don't make me go on Jarvan. I want Fiddlesticks. It worked. I won on it. <laughs> don't make me go on Jarvan. So if this is really difficult, though, because OMG have done such a good job of controlling vision around the objectives before they take them, it is oh, difficult to go with that Fiddlesticks God. against long range. Oh! Holy cow. Pantheon in the jungle, Kobe. Want to hear that uh, Spartan chant that we got at All Stars with the well, French I know Ships of Noir would be absolutely <laughs> loving it right now. Okay, so early ganking pressure. That is the name of the game for Pantheon. Let's see here. It also gives them engage. The only problem here is that you already have Insect, a guy who has a tendency to engage without <laughs> the rest of his team, a little bit too far. Yeah. Pantheon enables that. Pantheon is the enabler for Insect here. This could very well be some really deep engages. This is one of the champions that you have to coordinate more heavily with your team than almost any other jungler on your engages. And it's going to be very difficult for this team who relies very heavily on those pings and the small phrases in either English or Chinese to communicate. 
However, it can turn out really well because both Maokai and Ryze have T CC that they can start off a Pantheon gank with. So if it's normal lanes here, this could be devastating for them early game. And I'll argue with you as well when you say he's one of the most, you know, that you need coordination with. I'd argue that Fiddlesticks is right up there yeah, you know, with him as well, which has worked out already for Royal Club. But we are going to see the man drops of Insect in this game. Oriana was the final pick here for OMG for Cool in the mid. All right, so if Royal Club can get an early lead with this squad, then it looks very good for them. However, we'll see if they can actually do that, because typically Maokai going with the Rod of Ages, as well as Ryze having to stack up, mid-game focus from OMG means they've pretty much got the, uh, the cards and the keys to go with towards that mid-game, and we'll see if they can pressure it enough. Insects not played Pantheon throughout the entire summer. Yeah. So this is, this is very much a, a do or die tactic, I feel, coming out from him. And you can see him talking to his team. He's like, no, but this can work, guys. This Said he got to pull out all the stops, game five. Pantheon's got the stop. Take it to the Worlds. That's what you got to do. Well, we, we wondered as well at the end of their quarterfinal game where he left Lee Sin open and took Jarvan, mm. worked out for them. Now he brings Pantheon, for me, a, a more high risk champion. We'll see if we can do it again. Massive, massive risks, ladies and gentlemen. Which team do you think will meet Samson White in the World Championship Final next week? Tweet us hashtag SHRWIN or OMG win to at Elevating Sports and we'll check out the results. This is the one that counts, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final fifth game of the series. What an epic clash it's been so far. Who will take victory here in Seoul? Absolutely no idea is the real answer to that one. Royal Club sat here on the blue side and OMG, of course, who have fought their way back in this game. They were down 2-1, picking up game four. We said it's going to be hard for, I think, either of these teams really to win two games in a row. And it looks like we might be having some level one craziness all over again. I mean, it's risky. you got to think of it. The Pantheon could jump on your stun. You could have a Room Prison stun. You could have a Ooh. Twisted Advance stun. You could have a Hook. Oh, but Uzi almost caught in the pit there. They didn't go for it. They do find them out. But OMG, we've seen the Janna, Howling Gale, catching five members in previous matches. We've had some epic, epic level ones. And the crowd here, they are very much for OMG, it seems. Back to where it all began. That blue buff in the game one. Now they've moved on, though. Counter invade here, see if they can get the vision down. Scrying orb used, or excuse me, the sweeper used to clean nothing here. They want to get that deep ward down, try and see where the lane matchup will go. But it's very dangerous to walk in blind. And by the way, Pantheon does not want to start his W. That would definitely suck for his early, it would suck. <laughs> early jungle. But if you get that kill, sometimes, if you know you're going to get What's multiple this? picks with it, sometimes it can be worth it as long as someone helps you very, very well with your first buff and make sure that you're going to get to that level two. OMG sticking around. They've got those three wards at the blue. It looks like they want to go for it. Star and Royal Club look to be doing the same down the bottom. So I think it's going to be a simple trade for yeah. these, although nothing's ever simple, it seems, at level one for these two teams. No. That's the very definition of how this has gone. It's been anything but simple so far. And there is blue buff start for OMG on Royal Club side and a mirror image on the bottom side of the map as well. They did send Cool to lane early on, so Korn, a couple of CS to be catching up on here One with that down. rise. Ah. Well, it is going to be a fairly calm start. No three buff. Both teams went with a safe start. Jungler invade with where their dual lane is going. And in the game five, when everything's on the line, that's how you want to start out the game. We'll see because a devastating combo, Pantheon and Maokai early. You always have to worry Ooh. about mid lane roam. Yep, they're he, going for it. He's got that level too, so he could get that stun. Cool, not extended too far yet. How patient are they? Oh. Not very patient. Not very patient. Korn actually though will get in range and blows the flash. It goes for flash traded there between the mid laners. Alright, Korn. Might be a little trigger happy there. Rise starts ghosting at you level two. You're gonna back off. But they do at least trade cooldowns and flash much higher cooldown than Ghost. So a slight win for Royal Club, although it did give away position of the jungler, allowing Loveling to know of Insect's early moves. Oh, nobody system for OMG. It means go, go Insect. Oh, some serious damage is dead, surely. 
no, Uzi doesn't follow up, doesn't choose the dive. Teleport the is down. Hits. His teleport is down from the early lane swapping, though. So he's going to have to walk all the way back to lane. And once again, this is Uzi. He always fast shoves. He does not freeze. They're trying to push it quickly. It's going to be a lot of CS missed for Go going here. However, we haven't even had Cola try and get into lane. He's just been double juggling safe here with Insect. Yeah, this turret is going down here as well. Surely San joined by Lovelink. Cloud was there with him this entire time. Uh -oh. That's where it's going to go down. Bottom. Can they catch Go going on the way back? Gonna happen. Yeah, Go going's walking down. That could be super dangerous him, uh, for him here. Actually, it's he's going to move through, and there is the hook from Zero. Play will mean the call is there, will mean the insects there. And Go going is surely on his way out of this one. The spear not quite enough, but oh, he's still oh! there. There it is, though. It is insect on Pan to get first blood. First blood for Insect on Pantheon. Gonna get going very early. You said this early game was gonna be huge for him. And he says to go going here, this is Seoul. This is my home country. Maybe playing on a Chinese team, but he's taking first blood and he's gonna take this early game. So a good start for Star and Royal Club and for Insect in particular. Surprises with that Javan pick over Lee Sin in their last best of five in the quarterfinals against EDG. And he surprises here as well against OMG with a Pantheon coming into the fifth and final game, the World Championship final game for both of these teams. Risky, but well, if there's ever a way to do it in style, it's with a Pantheon pick in game five. So they a little bit of movement from OMG. Trying to set up down the bottom. It is a lane switch around. It seems that we will finally get Uzi versus San. You guys are home voting. You are siding with OMG, and why not? They've looked good despite the obviously game three going against them. They were looking very much in a commanding position and obviously dominated game four. But this time around, it's a good start for Star Wars Royal Club. However, even though Royal Club got first blood, OMG were taking the top turret at that time, so they answered the gold, and they left the top turret, went lane shoving against them. So it's going to put Cola in a really tough spot versus Go going here. He's already playing level two Maokai into level three Rumble, and the lane shoving against him, it's gonna be pretty easy here for Go going to soak up a big CS lead, and then it's very dangerous for Cola to overextend. That's why both junglers on this top side Let's see if they can actually draw in that bush counter gank and take advantage. Here comes Pantheon with his double long swords after that first blood. So Insect will have extra combat potential, however he's been seen. Yep, leveling on that side of the map. They are pinging though. They just pinged Rumble. But they saw Insect. Yeah, I think they did as well. Yeah, he's got a ward in that bush, so they know that he's just left down the river. That means they know that Cola's on his own right now. We'll see whether he sticks around deep on this one because I think... Oh, oh you've seen, but he's a long way away from home here. He's going to catch on Twister Advance. There's the Void Spikes. He's got Flash to get over the top here, but will they follow through? He's going to go straight into Insect, who quickly puts the... Uh, Tries to shoo spikes. away the like, bug. Ah, shoo away. away. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right, so the big difference here between the starts... The first blood money was all funneled onto Insect. So it's all about can Insect actually make another big play early? Whereas the gold is spread out here for OMG due to taking the turret, and their experience was focused on the go going. Can they get go going to level six earlier and bring him down for a dragon fight? Basically, it's the early game plan here for OMG. Well, there's an invade going on once again. OMG after taking that blue buff at level one. Blue switch for it bit. as well. Yeah, Royal Club doing it, gonna do the same on that bottom side. Insect pinging. He's on the way to that blue. There is cool getting the blue buff on the other side. Corners now come around as well. So it should be a simple trade to come out from this one. That's a good little howling trade, gale yeah. out of Cloud. Well, the claps in oak. They could come around. This could be a 4v2. And he were already seen Cloud backing away, but Sam stuck here. Valkyrie's already been used. It's on a cooldown. He's no way out of this one. He's gonna go down. Teleport beat. Go going, joining the party. They're coming down the river as well. They're going to try and catch out Insect. He will be the first man. Uzi's coming around the side. Insect's in trouble. He's going to get cleaved down. Cole gets on towards them. They're trying to get away. They're fleeing through the tower. They get themselves a kill on the cloud. No, the horn. Oh, lovely. Lovely just gets popped. Uzi gets himself another kill. Go going. Has to use a defensive equalizer. Let's start on Royal Club. Get away with the advantage. This is 
ridiculous. Royal Club, even with the two tier champions, the two stacking champions, they're all about that fast tempo. The fast pace is the way they play the game. They don't even let OMG build Rubble to level six before forcing this fight. He teleports in and barely gets it at the end of this fight. It was even a little bit late teleport from Cola, but he was able to get the Lantern out and then a beautiful re-engage off the back of what? Another death sentence. So, here's the start out of the tower dive. Death sentence number one, landed from zero, and they go for it. Able to lock him down, Insect's going to funnel uh, that kill over to Korn, actually, which is great for the team. Good roam from Cool and Loveling, able to cut off the escape. Since they only have to give up Insect here, the rest of the team knows they have to get out the other side. And Uzi doesn't take the Lantern. He leaves it for Cola, so he doesn't get trapped under the turret. Zero again, another great death sentence. All the Rumble Ultimate did there, coming in a little bit late, was clear out the minion waves. Crazy start to this one as well. Game five, almost 10 minutes in. And it's Starhorn Royal Club that have got the early advantage. And the scary thing, I think, if you look down that entire scoreboard and you look at Uzi, the man that everyone was looking at from Royal Club to carry this game for them, is 2-0-1 with 20 CS more than his opposite number. Sat with an infinity edge. Oh, not quite. Getting a little bit ahead of myself there. Got <laughs> BF Sword and Pickaxe. He's going to have his infinity edge soon, no Kobe. Booking the trend, I though, believe you. against the rest of the tournament. You just heard Trevor, of course, give us that, saying Red Side's always been in the advantage. But Uzi swinging that one around. And like you mentioned, he is going to get that infinity edge before the Trinity Force, it looks like. San falling quite far behind. Lovely. Oh, God. oh they know he's there. Death Sentence is coming your way, buddy. Insect coming in as well. There he is. Yeah, he's truly dead from this oh, one. I still back away. Oh no, there's the spear. Insect digs that one into the back of his skull, and that will be his second kill. And guess what? He can back away and get a dragon. Insect crushed level six, and he kicks another one into the well. Let's They're going to force this dragon rumble though. Equalizer and shockwave still available. Insect super low. Come in. This is a tricky, tricky dragon. A dangerous one. Howling Gale comes through. There's the equalizer. Catches them all out. They're in pits in there. Dragon will go to start on Rosa. Are they going to land it on towards the shockwave? No, he didn't catch anyone. Cool gets pounced off. Insect chases. And Cool getting caught out. Room prison down. Cool gets himself a kill, but cannot get away. It's a brutal battle once again. A two for two, but the dragon to Royal Club. Another big win for Royal Club. They are able to separate, and Insect was able to use his crit with the spear to get the dragon low enough for Smite just in time. They were able to split up there and then re-engage as go going fully committed to that fight. San got chunked out, and San had to bail on that with Corky. Yeah, and that leaves San now three, uh, sorry, 30 CS behind. Completely outmatched in kills and assists, and he also gave two kills to Korn on Rise, who's got a pre-12 minute Rod of Ages Ooh. with his tier stacking up as well. And by and by the way, this Rise is one of Cola's best champions on this, so they're very happy to have him carrying. Corn. Corn. Ah, corn. <laughs> ah. Corn syrup inside of Cola. Huh? Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. See what, Never mind. Pretty deep, pretty deep. Don't think anyone got out because you didn't mean it. <laughs> Cola, no. Doing a great job and actually rising to the occasion in this best of five series. Ah, there you go. He has nice. been fantastic. I didn't actually Just mean that. Pile them all up. What I meant was he's been doing very well in this series. He's someone that we were calling out, but uh -oh. go going. He's trapped. Zero coming in. There's the lantern. Here's an Uzi. They're flying on to go going. There's the play. Should land into an easy arc, and it will be. Uzi going over Boom. to Uzi. <laughs> no. Call the stall it. Uh oh. You might be fired after that. <laughs> You don't give the kill over to oh, the drop Oh, they're going to collapse. He's going to go in towards it. Zero is going to be the target. In comes Sun and Cloud. That's going to be zero down. Can they turn up more? They're going to go in. Insect tries to pounce. Lovely has to get the defense from Cool. As Corn was coming around the side. Ooh. These teams really want to trade. 8-4, just 13 minutes into this game. Well, they're going to shove on mid here. They do have position. Yeah, it's only really Uzi that can do anything about that corner. Just backed away to get a it's hold. Oh, he's it. doing it. Mad drop coming in as well. Can they lock this one down? No. OMG getting themselves out. It did, however, burn a heel from San and a flash. Flash from Cool, yep. 
that's definitely worthwhile. Double summoners just for a Pantheon ult, and Insect didn't take any return damage. Definitely well played. Do they even make uh, cola with corn syrup in Korea? That's I a no American idea. thing, I think. Well, the rest people of the on that People one. have no idea what I was talking about, probably. We'll have to check Koki Sports after it and see exactly <laughs> how they... Maybe they're... I'm not sure they're going to release the recipe for you, though, buddy. Go going, though. He's not going to fancy Jewel in zero. He got caught out last time in that one. And there was backup support. Corno is going to clear out this pink ward that was just placed. It's something that OMG have been doing very well throughout this series. They always carry those pink wards around with them. They always get that vision down. But right now, looking at the minimap, it's very much Starhorn Royal Club that have the vision control pushing forward on OMG. Which is a total change from the previous two games as well. Looking good for them. It's amazing what these five, ten minutes between games can really do to a team. That they can change things up so drastically. Well, Royal Club are just a completely different team with a lead early than they are with True. a deficit early. If you don't if they don't have the map control to get that vision early, they don't they don't want to even take the risk to go out there and place those wards. It's not a team like uh, shield that can actually still keep up their vision when behind uh, Royal Club. They play completely differently. Now that they're ahead, though, making decent use. At least they do have the vision around River warded up. Mm, this top, top lane could be a tricky situation. Cool's coming up there. Yeah. Oh, it takes a cooling already. Twisted advance. Cola's gone way too early on this one. Zero comes in. Teleport coming down. Go go with the equalizer. Cool's already dropped down though. They try and get the damage on Zero. Hooks in. Lovely will get the kill. Will he get the reset? Hasn't got the wings involved, so he's not going to be able to pounce away from this one. Cola's going to follow along with Uzi. The oh. kill comes down. Cool goes in. Gets himself the finisher. And now Go Go is in trouble. Sam's joining him, but he doesn't want to get involved in this rumble. Because Go Go is going down on the sour. And that will be another objective game for Royal Club. They are very much in command now with a 6,000 gold lead and maybe another turret. And that was all with Insect following up. He was not involved in this dive at all. That was pure Uzi and Cola starting this one out. Cola with the early flash over to start this one and then re-engage using the Lantern, bringing Uzi back in for this kill. Look at this early start. Okay, Cola is able to get the snare just barely outside of power range. And then they bring Uzi past the tower as well with the Lantern. They just worked around this tower so ridiculously well. The only thing is, they didn't have that much backup when they started this. So it's on pure 2v2 talent that they finish this one off. And a beautiful flash by Korn over the knockup of Janna into range to get his Q off to secure the kill. Then Insect follows up finally, running uh -oh. all time to catch up. Cool's dead. <laughs> well, Insect, that is in there. true, Joe. That, that is, is true. true. Uh, Captain obvious to the rescue there, but that leaves them in a bit of a sorry state now. I mean, we're talking six and a half thousand gold. It's gonna be seven and a half thousand Brit in a few moments because this middle outer turret is going down. They're pinging the bottom inner turret now as well. It's Uzi that's pushing that up and Royal Club are walking all over OMG here. Head in hands there for Cool. They knew he just made a big mistake and it's all on Royal Club in danger of snowballing this game very much out of control. Dragon spawn. OMG should not get involved in this one. This has got to go to Royal Club. They have to sit back and absorb the pressure right now despite the fact they have this mid-game spike. It's just not working for them. Royal Club, they've skipped the spike. They've got a commanding rise right now at 306. They've got a big Maokai. Pantheon, for crying out loud, is at 424. 307 for Uzi. They are very much in control. The driving seat is theirs, and they're driving it straight over OMG. All the stops, team man. Bringing out the Pantheon here. For Insect, able to get that spark for the early game for Royal Club that is so imperative to their play style. They have one speed, and it's a very quick speed that they run at. Plus, we also have to shout out Korn here. We wanted him to step up, and he did it on something that we weren't exactly expecting from him. You know, in the regular season, a lot of times they give rise over to, Co uh, over to Cola, but then at Worlds, they make it a flex pick, and both of the guys have been using it, and Korn has really been performing on it this time around compared to the last couple games with the previous champions. Now that he's a fed rise, moving towards a late game, they've jumped over that mana building phase, and he will be a beast late on. Yeah, I mean, they're approaching a sub-20-minute 10,000 gold lead. That's how far 
they are ahead of this one. There's a blue buff again going into the hands of Korn. Let's have a look down some of the other items as well. The Rod of Ages obviously came out earlier along with that Infinity Edge for Uzi. Well, sat on 307, got 40 CS more than his lane opponent. And he's probably going to be getting that static shiv out here pretty damn soon. Other side though, San does have his Trinity Force, but I'm not sure that really OMG can match up to the damage across the board that Royal Club have. Their kills are spread so nicely. In yeah. It's poised. He wants the man drop on someone. I think they're expecting someone to come around towards that blue buff area instead. It's not going to happen. Cool was the potential target. They know that the pink ward was there. He will clear it out. Really, Star and Royal Club booking the trend here. Remember, they've lost the last two best of five series versus OMG. If you looked yesterday, of course, Samsung White did the same against Samsung Blue despite losing 3-1 twice against their sister team. They booked that trend and got themselves a place in the final. Can Starhorn Royal Club do the same here? Blue buff will go across the call. That's very important at this early stage because he is hurting right now and he needs every little help he can get. Yeah, if OMG are going to pull this game back, then it has to be with really strong terrain control. Their team relies 100% on these AoE ultimates from their solo laners. They have to control this terrain. If they use a funnel in jungle, if they use one of these pinch points, then they can still pull off a, an AoE combo. But they have to be worried constantly about Royal Club picking them off. With this Pantheon, Insect can join anybody else who gets a pick very, very quickly. Posturing around Baron here, trying to get control of that. There is a ward inside the Death Brush, though, so for all their efforts, Royal Club were still spotted there by that OMG ward. Far too early for Baron, you'd expect, at yeah, least. Maybe. <laughs> Talking two Chinese teams here, so maybe they would be drawn into that at this stage, but I somehow doubt it in Game 5. The World Championship semi-final top just, tower. It just doesn't make sense to me that that would happen. Meanwhile, Royal Club moving in towards an inner turret. This will be the first one of the game. OMG are going to have to loop around the back way because they've got no vision inside of their own jungle. I'm not sure they can defend this one. It's a risky move coming around to go try and forcefully get in front, but they have held them away right now. Korn's looking to try and come around the side. Lovely. No did ultimate. he just hit his stealth yeah. there? I think he did. That's going to be crucial for the team fight. Death Sentence not quite landed from zero. This is buying time for Go Going in the bottom lane to get that tower. They need the gold, but they really need to hold on to this inner turret. And this is a risky, risky time for OMG. They could quickly they dive. snowball out Watch of control. Watch charge his ulti. Good job, cameraman. They love me now. <laughs> turret does just not on replays. Just not on replays. <laughs> and well, in the end, they don't even need the man. Uh, yeah, that TP actually. Go going, backing away, and Cola says, guess what, They're Go going, we're going to party down bottom. There is the rest of the team. Oh. The man drop goes uh. up in the air. Go going, flee. Going to take a different route, but that brings him right in line with Korn. And there are three of them, whichever way he goes, that are going to help take him down. Slowly, but surely. He's trying to draw San away to, uh, trying to draw them away to buy time for San in that mid lane, along with Cool, but this is risky because Zero and Uzi are ready and waiting oh. to pounce Cool just around the side. Here they go. San has the Valkyrie away. Zero and Uzi follow. Cool got out. Cool goes in. Insect pounces. Cool catches on and Cool gets the kill. Now Lumbling has to leap away. And just like that, Star and Rogue, the, there's traps all across the map and they keep springing them. And forward march. Royal Club right up the mid lane. Now they're going to be able to push this one and they're even going behind the turret. Oh, oh, did you have to oh, back away? Oh, this turret's gone. Oh, 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 he's dead as well. And wow, Royal Club just coming up big here when it really counts. And when a minion wave comes through as well. And that means in a, in a turret number two for them from the mid lane. Bottom lane not quite pushing in their favor, but I imagine they sat on quite the chunk of gold to spend. The biggest thing for me with this game is the fact that it's not all about Uzi. The whole team is stepping up when it counts. It is all working out for Royal Club and they really are delivering. Cola going up big. Insect, he's pulled out so many champions. We're not sure what the hell he's going to play next. If he gets to the final, maybe he's going to play something completely crazy. Who knows? But Korn, what a man. What a, what a delivery he's really done. Picking that rise up. Finally snuck through the pick and ban phase. And really, he is delivering. Fantastic Oriana earlier on as well in game three. 
Starhorn Royal Club surely have one foot in the finals right now. Looking at it, is not quite ready to man drop, but they're certainly moving in. The bottom inner turret looks to be the focus along with the Dragon for Royal Club, whereas OMG, they are sneaking up to Baron, but there's a pink ward there. Loveling will find it. Well, if there's a place to turn this game around, it is around Baron. Yeah. OMG, if they can get a couple of wards and all those little cracks and use that Fog of War to their advantage. And they turned around Baron would be the way for them to get right into this. They do have, as we said, great area control. Their potential inside the Baron pit is immense. Rumble plus Oriana could destroy a whole team. Insect is getting ready again on the flanks. Here hey, we oh. go. Here comes the drop from Insect. What's coming in? OMG going up to the other side. What are they going to do about this one? Go going. Actually fighting Corn on the top side. Here comes the rest of Star and Royal Club. What can they do? Oh. They're going for Cloud. It's a deep twist and a to get that kill. Can they keep going on it? Cool trying to slow them down, but Cole keeps chasing. Cole's going to try and run Here's the rest of the Can he slow them down? The hook. Go going. Go down. Zero goes big for his team. Is it enough? Yes, it is! Sandlock, though! He's in trouble! They managed to catch out Cole as well! And so far, it's a 3v1! OMG, they're just fleeing now! They can't do a thing against Royal Club! Oh, lovely. Yeah, he's got to jump. We're all good. <laughs> can survive that one. Wow. The call after the storm. <laughs> yeah. They've just destroyed OMG here. And they, again, have control of this map. All they have to do... Oh, let's take a look at this one. How did Korn get into this spot? He was, he was in the top lane at the start. He just came, just simply strolled on how, down there. You see how strong he is, though, though? This rise, having that good of an early game, this rise is immense. Two versus one, he chunks out Rumble, makes him a non-factor in this fight. And then Zero, as he said, flanking around the backside, gets a hook, is going to cost him his life. And since that shockwave was landed by Cool, it won't be more follow-up than it was, but they still traded an extra kill for Zero's life. Split fighting from OMG, caught out, unpositioned. Meanwhile, Star and Royal Club ticking on all cylinders here. Insect's leaps have been on point. He's 6-2-6. Six, six. And you know what? He's not all damage. He's got his Randian's Omen. He's built correctly. And this is very much Royal Club looking at that final four. A second occasion for at least Uzi and the name Royal Club, but of course it's more Uzi and four new members once again. Yeah, last year they had the raise the puppy strategy, get him to that mad dog status. <laughs> this year he's got a whole oh, new team of puppy no. trainers, and they're actually the ones, you know, pulling the weight here. It's not just Uzi and friends this time around. The rest of the team for Royal Club has showed up especially well in this game five. Insect continues to clear out vision. It continues to be placed again though at the back. And we heard from the analyst there's Lee Sin's so great because you can get that sight stone in there that helps you out, yeah. you and your team. You don't really do that on Kazix unless you're apparently leveling and they've been struggling for vision. He's gone for a sight stone. Oh, oh man drop coming in. Insect delivery on the cloud. He gets blown up. Colas gonna be the next target. Where will they go? Will they just turn and bait them towards that power? And it's still risky because OMG have a lot in their arsenal with the Oriana shockwave and of course the rumble equalizer, but they're not gonna get drawn into it. They're not gonna go heavy. It was only the support they caught out. So Star and Royal Club starting out the Baron. Uh, two squishiest members are inside the Baron pit tanking it though. Face check. Oh, flash on Sun. Just gets away. Close though, and Corn on the top side was keeping Lovely and Go going away from any engagement. And Royal Club can just go back and do the Bottom lane once though, again. doing the work for them. Yeah, bottom lane's pushed up. There's going to be two waves on that inner turret. Royal Club going to do a loop around to the top of this red buff. Can they catch ONG out? Oh, Lovely going to throw in. They are going to dive towards Lovely. There's the equalizer going down. Cloud will throw his monsoon into the party, but I'm not sure it's enough. Uzi gets one. He's now unstoppable. Go going will be locked up. Oh, the Double hole. kill. Triple kill here for Uzi. Can he get more? He's going huge. Goals in there. Will they give him another? No. Oh, Insect takes it away. But it is a four for zero to Royal Club. The game is in their palms right now. They are looking at the world. Championship finals as they move on to battle.
Baron. They should easily be able to get this one too. Even though Loveling is up, Chuck way out, no vision, so no chance of stealing here. And man, Insect on this Pantheon. Yes, it is an enabler for Insect, and it's a snowball champion. It's great for him if they have a great early start. These engages over and over, constantly able to force picks. Here comes the jump into the stun, even gets the Rumble ultimate down. That ultimate from Cloud this time around, because Royal Club are so far ahead, that was actually really bad for OMG. Putting that rise right into the middle of their team with how uh, strong they are right now, there's no way they're coming out of that one alive. You have to argue maybe no way they're coming out of this best of five alive. Royal Club have a humongous lead. We're talking almost 20,000 gold, less than 30 minutes into the game. If we look at that player camera in the bottom right, Cloud, who honestly came into this OMG team replacing Data 777 and impressed us. Royal, uh, sorry, OMG looked like a different team when they came to the quarterfinals. They slapped Najin White Shield down 3-0. They brought this one to a game five, but this game has just not been going their way. And maybe through no huge fault of their own, Royal Club have been playing out of their skin in game five. Very much delivering. And at the moment, Royal Club have it in their control. Uzi goes aggressive, forces them away. The culling goes down and Lovelin takes a whole chunk of change damage there. That's the tower going down, and now they're on to the inhib turrets. Every single lane pushed in their advantage. They can go where they please right now. It's like a team of Mundos. <laughs> a team of Mundo squad with Baron buff on top of it. Where's and once going? again, what would a team of Mundos do? He's team pinging. He's they pinging. would go where they please, and it, they would tower dive. Insect is literally pinging. Pumps his chest. He's high He's, the ready tower. To go. He's going for it. He's going to dive right to the back here. The man drop right into Boom. the face. We'll get in the first one. He's going to be cool and force first. Who's next on the card? They're chasing right towards the fountain. Core not messing around here. However, San gets some heals back, trying to hold them off there with the they rockets. Going? They've lost minions <laughs> as well. They have to tank it. Well, where are they going? That's the question. Uzi's still giving chase on Lovelin all the way down the lane. Lovelin trying to intercept, but there's minions coming up the mid lane now. Royal Club coming around. Still 10 second death time as it's pretty early in the game. We're only at the 30 second mark here, but this inhibitor turret is being drawn down. Corn pops the ulti, clears the wave out, and the inhib number one will fall as Royal Club get ever so closer to the World Championship Finals. Royal Club once again poised to knock out OMG from the World Game. Oh, here goes Corn though. Oh, is it enough? The shot wave goes down. Corn can tank so much. He gets one kill. Can't quite get the second. The rest of it seems just like you're on your own, buddy. But 4v1, and he still gets a kill. That is how far ahead Royal Club are right now. Cloud was like, okay, we're going to try and kill him. Actually, I might need to use my exhaust here because he's killing us. He's killing us. And it's like, meanwhile, it's all on his own. Uh -oh. Susie around the back. Oh. The damage is absolutely insane. Double kill for Uzi. Looking like it could be a triple on the card for him. Can they chase down Cola? Certainly will be able to, but they give it over to Uzi. His 11th kill of this game. They're pinging and the base, though. the base, maybe. They're pushing. And, and what a way to end it. Uzi coming around the backside for a dogfight with Sand, able to get the kill, and now shoving into the base. Well, they still have Loveling there. Cloud is still alive as well, but they might just be fodder for Uzi to get even more kills on the board. Cola will tank up the turret. No, it won't. They decide oh, against it. Uzi steps forward. They're going to try and win the game right here. They got a few minions to help them as well. First Nexus turret goes down, but they're forced back. They're falling back, but I think it's just a simple bait. Corn is coming up the mid lane right now. He's got Insect with him. We oh, have teleport, that ult teleport. teleport coming around the side. This flanking maneuver It's going to backfire. Uzi draws them all in. Can he get one out of it? Can he get any of it? I'm not sure. Go, go in caps and zero comes in. But in comes Corn roaming around. Insect man drop coming down. San in trouble. Tries to get away. Cool comes out. He gets popped. They're moving in for the final Nexus turret. Star Horn Club. They're one step away from the world.
finals. Nexus turret is being focused right now. They're healing and trying to get out of base with those home guards on. Second Nexus turret will fall. Can Royal Club do it here? Insect gonna dive a little bit deeper. They try again to heal on the fountain, but this whole time the Nexus is falling. The Nexus super low. Just a couple more hits will do it. And there it is. Star Home Royal Club take down OMG to move through to the 2014 World Championship Finals. Legends to make two World Championship Finals and back-to-back -back nonetheless. What a way to finish, 11-1-10. Both of these teams really have delivered in front of this packed house here in Korea. What a fantastic matchup we've had. What a fantastic best of five series. We expected it. the middle insect it's not unfair to say that people call him washed up when he went to China after failing really to find a home for himself in Korea but this guy's gonna the world championship final here with Star Horn Royal Club and you can see for ONG the disappointment two years in a row basically knocked out by the Royal Club outfit albeit two different outfits but the man with the biggest smile on his face the Royal Club was there last year that is Uzi. Two world championships back to back. Of course, didn't win it last year. They got steamrolled by SKT in the final. Well, It'll be hard this year as well. They're up against Samsung White. Yep. And Insect saying that he really, really, all that he wanted was to beat a Korean team on Korean soil. Now he's going to have to beat the best Korean team, Samsung White, in the finals. It's a very tall task but it's such a grand stage. It will be exciting, that's for sure. If you know anything about Royal Club games, the finals will be good. And cast your mind back to 